a lot of times during the year I make this mistake and I'm sure I'll make it again but the idea here is not to be perfect this year but to continually pivot to just have a better year than you would otherwise thanks truck for going by so that you could be in my video a lot of times the mistake that I'll make in school is I just think about me or what I need or how my day is going or maybe I'll think about how like no one ever thinks about me no one asked me to go out for drinks no one asked me to go out for dinner and when I feel like that the best way to get out of that is to make my day immediately about someone else. Maybe when you run out for coffee after lunch, you pick somebody else up a coffee and then just drop it off in their room. That would totally make their day and the residual goodness from that makes you feel good too. Here are a few ways that I'm planning on making my year about other people and not just about myself. One, bring someone some flowers. In Jersey, it's called Produce Junction and Produce Junction has really super cheap flowers and I don't need them to even live a long time because it's not like I'm giving them to my wife, giving them to someone else and that's kind of a weird thing and I'm sorry I brought that up. I once had another teacher use my classroom for something after school and when I came in, in the morning there was like a small bunch of flowers in a vase with a card connecting to it on my desk it just made my day like as soon as i walked in my room to get like some flowers i didn't even care what kind they were someone could have are you serious Somebody could have literally walked in and put dandelions in a small plastic cup of water and it would have done the same thing. So it doesn't have to be expensive or cost you a lot of money, but to come in and just see that sprinkling of kindness from someone else to start your day off is, I mean, who could ask for a better start to a day? Got five minutes left at the end of class or 10 minutes left at the end of class? Have the students pick one teacher that they really like or they've connected with or someone that's done something nice for them during the year and write a really quick thank you note. If your kids are younger or if they're not necessarily that creative in that particular class to be able to, and they get stuck on how to start, print out little forms. You can find them right on Pinterest. You can find them on TPT. And what that will look like is fill in the name. So-and-so has done this nice thing for me this year, or I like them because of this. When I think of them, it always makes me think of this kind thing that they did for someone else. And then put those in teachers' mailboxes. And that's a really great way to start or end your day. Stop in people's rooms. Just walk down the hallway. Stop what you're doing. Take 10 minutes. Walk down the hallway. Find someone that's alone in the room. Pop your head in and say, Hello, Peter. What's happening? Hey, man, I was just thinking about you. How you doing? Hey, how's your year going? Or, hey, I was just wondering how that thing turned out that you talked about the other day. We all know, especially if you're at a very big school, that you don't get to see all the teachers. You maybe saw them at that professional development at the beginning of the year, and then next thing you know, it's graduation. That's the next time you see them. It's a really good idea to stop into different people's rooms and just say what's up, because it just makes people feel noticed and feel like they're, they're not invisible. And that's really how all of us want to feel, right? School can feel like a thankless job. Go say thank you to people. Walk into the office. Say, what's up, custodian guy or janitor guy or girl? I really appreciate you cleaning my room. Sometimes I leave notes on my board and I say nice things to the janitor like, hey man, I really appreciate you coming in every night and vacuuming my room and emptying my trash. You're the best. Leave a little snack for them. Have the kids draw pictures of the janitor. As long as your kids don't draw weird pictures of janitors, that's not really that good of an idea. Go say thanks to the office staff. Go say thanks to your security peeps out in the front office or something like that. You know as a teacher how much time can go by without ever any anyone saying thank you to you. Break that mold and go ahead and say thanks to people. Here's what happens when you do that. Emotion is contagious. If you're constantly blaming others and you're a miserable curmudgeon and you sit in the staff lounge all the time and just like complain about the kids and the other teachers and the administration, that's contagious. It makes other people in that room start to talk about the same thing. But if you start creating a school community where you're like reaching out to others and saying hi and just stopping by and leaving little gifts for people and thank you cards, other people are gonna start doing that stuff too. And at the very least, least when they see you, they will smile because they'll know that you're trying to do good in the school and bring light into what's a very dark place sometimes. So go ahead and do it. Sprinkle a little magic and love all over your building. It's like unicorn tears. Yes.